Girl Greatness, I'm Lori Pelzer, CEO, and I founded Girl Go Be Great, Lifestyle Success Company. And then I created, just for you, the girl you like to. Girls Your Life Tour started in my own story. Two babies before I was 18, grew up in the projects, poverty, no dad in the home, denied by my dad actually. My mom, single mom, did the best she knew how to do. Sent me on a path, and that path was a confusing path, chaotic path, a path that was really, really loud. So my life was very loud. I didn't know how to quiet the noise, to get to the truth of who I was. And I went on a journey for that. I joined the military. I raised my two children as a single mom, like so many of you have done and are doing. I'm cheering for you, because that's that story. I know more than, gosh, I know that story every day of my life. I'll never forget that period. And there it was, the dream in front of me. I became, he found me, actually, in a nightclub. Uh, I think the first night I fell in love with him, I didn't let him know. We went to eat food at the Waffle House. I'll never forget. I wanted to have sex with him. He wanted to have sex with me. But I just wouldn't do it. I'm like, no sex on the first night. I don't know if you're a serial killer. I don't know what you got going on. But I know you good looking. You sound articulate. You said you went to college, to Johnson and Wales. I'm just coming out the Army. Um, this is good. This feels real, real good. And we ate up until about 3 a.m. in the morning and talked at Waffle House. What I loved is we were able to say what we both wanted at that moment, but we went a different direction. So ultimately, we got married in 90 days. I married this guy in 90 days. So, whoo, that was a good time, 90 whole days. And what was so beautiful about it is he had the best interest of me in mind. Because I, I come from some dark stuff, some loud stuff, some chaotic stuff. So success could have escaped me many times, but I run for my success. Success, I'm running after you, right? You, you gonna hear me. So I wasn't going out empty. I became an entrepreneur. I became an entrepreneur, I sold real estate. For the next 15 years of my life, I dedicated it to helping other people reach their dreams. And I reached mine. And in that period, I became a millionaire in my 30s. I became a household brand name. In the first five years, and I'm talking about in a town where there were mostly white men, and the average real estate agent was about 50 years old, white, woman, or male, and black, young, in my time, oh, that's not heard of. And I was expanding, like left and right. My brother joined my company. We grew real estate agents in our company. I eventually sold my company to a big brand. I sold my company to a big brand called ERA. And it was a bad buy, because I didn't have enough knowledge. I didn't have enough people telling me, you know, how to navigate that. And so I sold my company for a valuation that was much less than what it should have been. Then I signed a contract and worked at his company for about a year until that day, you know, my the, everything in me welled up and said, this is not your journey. This is not where you're supposed to be. Again, my intuition guided me. And I honor my intuition. I teach that while I'm in any event. I teach two women, honor your intuition, but I have to teach her how. And so I basically lost a million dollars of my assets, me and my husband. We lost everything other than my shoes. I always say I didn't lose my shoes. There got to be a storm. We gotta fail forward. So I fell forward. I woke up one morning really hungry. Not just hungry, physically hungry, emotionally hungry. It was like hungry for answers. Like what happened? We did this right. We bought our first house. We sold that. We bought our second house. We built from the ground up. We didn't just go jump up into a $300,000 house. We did this right. So how do you lose everything? I was homeless, I was hurting around, but what was next? And I was hurting. I felt shame, I felt guilt, I was confused, 
and I didn't know where to go. I spent 15 years of my life doing the very thing that I did every single day, help people buy homes. So I didn't know what was next for me. I got questions for my husband, like, what you doing over there? W were you asleep? I thought you were supposed to be protecting the money. So I got shame and guilt and all this running around in my spirit. I got questions for God. We tithe, we sow, we stay in church, right? We become really heavy churchgoers. And we were already community workers. So I'm like, what is it? Did we kill somebody and bury them in the ground somewhere? And then we hide it or something? What did we do? I mean, I had some real questions. But none of that mattered because the questions couldn't be answered because of the questions I was asking. The question I now know I should have been asking, or I could have asked, if I knew to ask, was, is this my time? But I was a motivational speaker all that time, but I wasn't using that gift as much as I should have or could have or would have. Yet I had gone through what I went through. I'd already have been speaking, motivating teens, young people, and mainly young girls who looked like me, who had become pregnant too early, who had lived through poverty, who had gone through the life I'd gone through. I wasn't getting paid to do this work, but this was my gift. It was a really tough time. We didn't really have anybody to our rescue, but we really did have a people, some people there. Our pastor gave us $5,000 to help us get reestablished. So I know about community and how important that is. Uh, my uncle, my favorite uncle, died when we were homeless. And um, it was just one of these moments that I had an awakening. The work I do right now today is because of that moment. I teach women greatness today, whether it's a professional or personal realm. Have these incredible women empowerment events, women conferences, lifestyle training, entrepreneurship training, because of that moment, that moment, when I didn't know what was next. The great Lori Pelzer, what's next? Like, where do you go from here? You eating at the food bank, and the food bank food was rotten. But it was some food in the box was good, and some of it was not good. It was rotten. It was rotten food. I couldn't pay my light bill when I used to give money to people to pay their light bill. Sat in the dark for nine days because my husband crashed. He went through a major depression. And I built my new business on a Blackberry. The one I'm sitting in right now, I built it on a Blackberry with a little bit of light coming through the window. I decided to take my next leap, my next leap of faith, my next leap of dreams, and it was women empowerment. It was empowering women. Because I had been a woman that had done all these amazing things, had a bold story, had brave moments, had big successes against all the odds, all the odds. Cause see, I was supposed to have been on drugs. I was supposed to have five babies with five baby daddies because I had no direction. I'm supposed to still be in poverty from all the technical statistical sense, but that didn't happen. I changed all that. So I went into this place of awakening. Everything I'd accomplished, everything that those around me had helped me accomplish. In this moment, I'm asking the question, what's next? What's next for you? Do you die here or do you get up? Now, when you get up, where are you going? And that's the question I had to answer. So when you ask the right question, you get the right answers. The quality of the question yields the quality and the quantity of the answer. Like what's next? So I changed the trajectory of my entire life and legacy in that very moment. Real estate did not define me. Losing did not define me. It was part of a beautiful story, time and space. And it has been beautiful ever since. Now we approach eight years. I'm a women empowerment leader. I am a coach to women. I've won awards as a business and success coach. I'm an international keynote speaker, which I created that. It was open. Nobody told me I couldn't go to Canada. So. 
I went to Cameron and start building a marketplace, working with women. Girl, you're alive. Vivid color is still available to you. I live in vivid color even in the pandemic because I had to make a choice whether I was going to sit and let my life be on pause or whether I was going to show up and take back my color. So I want to encourage you to know that light never left. We have to find it. And that's what we're going to do at Girls Your Life 2020. Find your vivid color. Because girl, it's your life. Even inside of a pandemic, it's your life. Even when everything goes dark and life changes in a blink of an eye, I know all about that. I'm Lori Pelzer. I'm the founder of Girls Your Life Tour. And girl, you go be great.